How is it going, everybody? You're watching Then About Tech, and today we're going to talk about this recovery mode. More specifically, how to enter or how to exit recovery mode on your iPhone without losing any of your data. That's right, this method is no data loss. So, let's get started okay guys so recovery mode is an essential part of your iphone it is a very important security feature and in order to enter or exit recovery mode will always need a computer it doesn't need to be a mac it can be a windows pc as well regardless of the computer you have it will work but you will need in fact a computer in order to enter or exit recovery mode and the best and most efficient way to manage recovery mode is through a software and my recommendation guys is of course Rei Boot. I've used Rei Boot here on the channel many many times for several years and I'm sure you've seen me use Rei Boot before and it's my recommendation because it's just the best all right so what you need to do here is simply go ahead and download Rei Boot. so we have a free download for both Mac which is what I'm using but of course PC as well for Windows PC. So as I mentioned before, this is universal. And as I also mentioned before, iOS 18 is supported, okay? So go ahead, download it for free, install it on your machine. It's your typical software, so very easy to install. And then after you do that, we can go ahead and begin. So after you launch, that's how Reboot will look like. Very familiar interface. And right here, we already have recovery mode. So first, I'm gonna show you how to enter recovery mode and then how to exit. Let's begin. But before I move on, I have to tell you that Reboot can do much, much more than just manage your recovery mode. It can actually help with your system repair. So if you have any kind of problems with your iPhone other than recovery mode, it can help you upgrade or downgrade iOS, reset your device, data recovery, and much, much more. So Reboot is a super, super complete software. Okay, so our first step right here is to actually get a cable, right? We're gonna need to connect our iPhone to our device, to our computer. And please keep in mind that I do recommend that you use a high quality cable, especially the one that comes in. So your authentic original iPhone cable. If you don't have it, you can use another one, but just make sure to use a high quality one, okay? So go ahead here and plug it in. So one end to your computer, and then the other end, you can go ahead here and plug in to your iPhone as you can see right here and then we're gonna make sure it is charging as you can see okay so it is charging you will get a notification on your computer that's normal either from finder or from iTunes depending on what computer you're using you can go ahead and click here on not now and then you can already see the identification here that reboot recognized your iPhone so Daniel's iPhone 15 Pro Max that's it that's my iPhone okay so I'm gonna leave my iPhone right here okay just to make sure you're seeing it and also maybe if you're doing this for the very first time when you plug in your iPhone to your computer you may see uh, a pop-up asking here on the phone if you want to trust the computer or on the computer if you want to trust the device if you got any of those messages you can trust okay on both the iPhone and the computer all right now as soon as you are 100% ready as you can see we can begin on recovery mode. And I have to tell you, and this is very, very important. You can enter recovery mode completely free, okay, for free. As you saw, you can download Reboot from the very website that I showed you before for free and enter recovery mode for free as well. But in order to exit recovery mode, so the second part of a video, you will need to get a subscription, okay? So on that very same site that you saw, and I'm gonna have the first link in the description, okay? You can go ahead, take a look at the plans, take a look at pricing and everything. There are awesome sales always happening on Tenorshare Reboot. So you can go ahead, get a premium subscription if you want to exit. Again, to enter, it is free. To exit, you have to have a subscription, right? So let's go ahead and enter. And all you have to do is click here on enter. As you can see, enter recovery mode, please wait. It's just gonna take a few seconds, guys. As you can see, my iPhone instantly turns black, as you can see, and then it's gonna enter recovery mode super, super fast. Let it do its thing. 
and don't touch anything, don't do anything, just let Rhea boot and your iPhone work. And as you can see, it took like maybe 15 seconds and our iPhone is already in recovery mode. So as you can see, our typical screen and the confirmation because Finder is letting us know that the iPhone is in recovery mode. So this is a confirmation. So good to go in just a few seconds. I don't want to restore or anything. I'm going to cancel it because I don't want to actually do anything with it. So I can close, cancel, enter recovery mode successfully. So perfect. I can click on OK. And now let me show you how to exit because maybe you don't want to enter. You just want to exit, right? You have this screen and you want to get out of it. So all you have to do is exit. So let's click here on this option. And as you can see, exiting recovery mode, please wait. Instantly, you see black screen. Instantly, you see the Apple logo. And then I'm going to show you that there is no data loss. As I mentioned before, you won't lose any data with Reboot to exit recovery mode. This is so, so cool. As you can see, instantly, it just took again like 15 seconds. And I'm going to swipe up. I'm going to type in my lock screen passcode, no cuts. So you can see there's no cuts here in this video. And as you can see, all of my data is here. Everything is here. I didn't lose anything and i managed to exit recovery mode no data loss in just a few seconds let me just enable do not disturb so we don't get notifications and then that's literally it guys as easy as that so exit recovery mode successfully uh we're good to go your device will return to its normal state so we can cancel it and we're good to go now i have to tell you that if for some reason even after using reboot you can't exit recovery mode so you go ahead you go to exit but it doesn't exit then you have a hardware issue it's no longer a software problem it is a hardware issue and you need to take your phone to an apple store because they'll actually open it up and check what's wrong this is as far as we can go at home. This is the best tool that we have available at home so we can actually, again, enter or exit recovery mode on our iPhone. Anything further than this, we can't do, so we need to take to Apple, all right? So that's it. Thanks for watching this video, and now you know how to enter or exit recovery mode using Reboot in iOS 18. Hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll catch you in the next one as usual, guys. Bye-bye.